Good morning, everyone. The inspector back with you. Just uh, trying to get a quick shave in, going to the, the beach for the weekend at a bed and breakfast. So I thought I'd need a shave and then next time will be like Saturday night or Monday. Um, so I have off until uh, off Monday and off today. So long weekend. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, first, we're going to use, um, go with the soap first. Um, PAA, the beach, okay, sticking to that beachy theme, and I bought this at Q Brothers, Small Flower, in Chicago in 2015. Now, uh, the soap is just as nice as it was back then. I did not lather in it, especially with the metal tin, just scraped it out. It stays, you know, it's about been eight, nine years already, something like that. I think it was 2015 or 2016. Anyhow, a long time. So it's held up its integrity pretty well, okay? No rust or anything away from moisture. All right, so that's just me here. So we'll go with the beach here. And then, let's see, yeah, after we'll follow up with the beach, aftershave and cologne, um, aftershave and cologne. Excellent, nice staying power on that. Um, Going to go with board brush. First use of Omega board. This is a Leah branded brush, but it's Omega on the bottom. So that's soaking. Um, we have that in our TRC Unbreakable Lather Bowl. Nice pastel colored bowl. Uh, nice soap on the bottom. Stayed very soft. Um, almost like it was you know, to the day I got it. Um, so, and we're gonna follow up with, I have a brand new bottle of uh, Thayer's Cucumber Mist after the shave. We did our head already, cleaned up my face really well. Razor going with uh, a pearl, open comb, three piece razor, non-adjustable. I'll try to put the link in the description. If you're interested, I think it's currently 17 bucks on Amazon. Um, short handle, nice knurling going on here, as you could see. Um, now, guys, just because it's open comb doesn't mean it's going to be aggressive, okay? Because if you look, see the blade right next to that is your your teeth that are pointed down, okay? So, and head geometry, very important, is sloping down. So you have that in conjunction with the teeth right on top of the blade. I think it's gonna be a, a medium aggressive, we'll see. Um, proof is in the shaving. Um, so we'll be using that first time. I just got that, I think yesterday, day before. Gonna use, uh, picked up some blades um, from Razor Emporium, Matt Pisarsic, his own blade, Rex, Rex Platinum. So you can get anywhere from about five, pack of five to I think about 200 if you want to. I've got 50 of them, so they were about 17 and change for 50. If you want a 100 pack, you're looking at uh, what, $33? It's not the cheapest, but um, anything beyond 35 that a blade that I really like that I want to buy and I'm sort of balking, but this is within that, so I heard good things about that. So we'll we'll try this out. And uh, I have that all in here. Stage is set, I'll wet my face, do the lather, do the shave. So, okay. I think that's good enough. All right, we'll take our board brush. We'll squeeze it out. It's a damp brush now. We have plenty of soap, so we'll just go right into it. into a paste, get that much off up the bottom of the bowl as possible. And you can see it's mostly all the way up, which is great. So the majority is in the brush and in the bowl. So we'll just add our water. Get our lather going. This soap can take a fair amount of water. So we'll probably add more to it. Yeah, we'll add some more. 
Alright. Little by little as we go. So about a minute and a half you're gonna work in your lather here. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so we'll take it to the face. Paint it on first. Scent really popping. We're getting to the tough area here. By the way, next week, um, try to continue with uh, maybe a Chevez or two. Um, lots coming, so stay tuned. Nice. All right. Get that worked in. We will clear our mouth of any soap. We'll heat up the blade. First pass with the green. Let's see here. Okay, I'm getting some blade feel, but it's what I expected. Um, do I recommend this open comb as a first uh, razor for a beginner? No. Um, closed comb is a better option. Um, and or twist to open because it's easy for blade installation and everything else, but that's not extremely necessary, but um, this feels like a medium shave to me. The blade feels very nice, very sharp, but not, not a feather-like for a shave. It feels like a feather that's been used for two times, but it's extremely smooth. I'm really impressed. Um, at this point, yeah, I can tell pretty much right away if I'm, I'm liking a razor or whatever. Um, that's been my experience. You may be different, but usually my first impressions are stick if you want to know the truth so but that being said you do have to be careful with this because it is more aggressive than if it were a closed comb but very nice I mean Especially, I recommend this if you have a three or four day stubble or a week and want to take it off. Two passes, you'd be good. I think with this, you can definitely feel the blade. But um, I'm not crazy about um, the, the uh, pearl three pieces have been pretty good. The other ones that, you know, the two-piece, the sleek, and the Pearl Flexi, no. Uh, they have, Pearl has quality control issues when that's involved. It's a lot easier to make a, a three-piece than a two-piece. Or a twist to open. Not, not to say twist to open, but an adjustable. Like they're flexi. But as long as you pay attention, I would go 
I wouldn't take sweeping big strokes with this. Um, to get better control of, of the shape. So I wouldn't do a Gillette slide with this. Aggressive razors, I tend to take shorter strokes in general. Yeah. But feels nice. No, this is not R41 aggressive, but do I think this is worth the money for 17 bucks? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, most uh, razors in this price range um, will not be, in my experience, open combs so if you want to get into an open comb and you don't want to pay a lot of money this is a good option you know if you want to change the handle out for a longer one you could that shouldn't stop you um, the handle for me is fine it has good knurling um, not going to slip out of my hand, so. All right. Great slickness and everything on this soap. So just to show you. Um, this is also a close comb available on Amazon. This is a close comb with a longer handle. So it'll be less aggressive, longer handle for you guys who are looking for that type of thing. So it's available out there, all right? And that that was like 17 bucks too. That wasn't expensive. Uh, Razor Rock has great options also. You know, Razor Rock, you get handle options on a lot of them too. So um, that's serious value. From Razor Rock, um, I would steer that, you know, expert machining to uh, never a quality issue, big quality issue for me and any uh, of the Razor Rock razors I've owned. They're all really great. All right, so we're gonna second application. Ah, oh, love this soap. This is excellent. Whoop. Got lather all over the place here, guys. Nice little brush, this. Uh, I like bores, especially. Uh, they're good for anything, but uh, any, but if, if you're using a hard, like a triple milled soap, I love the bores because it really digs in, you know, when a triple milled soap, I don't scoop out because it'll flake and it's too hard. So that's one of the soaps, as you guys know, that I've said before that I don't scoop out like a tobacco or along those lines, right? All right. We'll heat up the blade again and do against. Very nice. Just drag it across no pressing decent weight for this is uh, chrome over brass i believe like a lot of most of the pearls are from india made in india right under the neck real easy this is against the grain for me If you're pressing with this type of razor, um, you're going to get yourself into trouble. Uh, you know, you're going to get weepers. And then you increase your chances of getting cut. So, just taking measured strokes is the best way to go about this. 
is I can feel a decent amount of blade on my face, but it's smooth and it's a great razor blade combination. This is this Rex Platinum. Uh, I think Perma Sharps or anything like that would do really well in this. I don't, any razor, any blade I have, I think would do well. If you want to tone it down in aggressiveness, well, you just put a, a less sharp blade in like a derby or whatever that may be for you. I'm just using that as an example. I know how some of you guys hate derby blades, but, um, some of you, if you're a venture, check out the Usta blades. Derby Usta, they're, I think, a lot better than uh, a little sharper and just as smooth as the regular Derby blades. They're in a green pack, USTA. No, that's not US Tennis Association. <laughs> um, they're, in my opinion, they're very good. So, just saying. We know how blades are, your mileage may vary, we understand that, but nice, this is very smooth, going against the grain. This is where you can really tell, you know, see how good a razor really is, guys, when you go against the grain. That really shows what it's worth. All right, going to buff. You can see the lines in the lather from the open comb. Um, I like the ones that are slanted down, the ones that stick out. You know, the combs, they poke me. I'm not a fan of that. So I don't own any of those. You get a lot of that with the real old razors. With the uh, teeth sticking out. So I kept, especially here, stretching like that, trying to flatten it out, expose the hair, and just buffing it because I got to get inside that cleft. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. All right. Let's see how it does on the mustache area. I'm going to go very lightly. bottom it's very nice other side this is even more sensitive on this side get up inside that my nose Nice. Just let it drag on your face. Let the razor do the work for you. All right, come across here. All right, very nice. Look, yeah, we're good, we're good. If you have a heavy coarse beard, you might wanna check that out, okay? Like I said, I'll try to put the, the uh, link if you guys are interested. Um, I don't make any money on pearl stuff or anything like that, so I'm just 
If I have an affiliate link and I post it, I will let you know. Now I guess go a little bit up here. I feel a little. All right. Very nice. Very nice residual slip test on the soap. Um, no pre-shave with this. All right, we'll take it to the towel. <sighs> Clean towel. <sighs> That's excellent. Okay, there's cucumber, a new bottle. Awesome. If you want on a hot day on the, you know, any soap, if you want to add crystals, menthol crystals to it. But I'm getting a, a tingling, which tells me I really got close. Okay, the pearl, open comb, excellent. The Rex Platinum Blade, excellent. Omega Board Brush, Leah Branded. Very nice. TRC Unbreakable Lather Bowl. Uh, yeah, the Beach 20, I want to say 2016 ish. All right, still going super strong. And uh, yeah, we'll after shower, we'll, we're going to be jamming with the beach here and uh, with BBS and smelling great. Um, you know, heading down the Garden State Parkway, past Atlantic City, it's pretty far down, almost to Cape May, if you guys know that. Um, so, anyhow, yeah, that's it. We're going to put the cap on and uh, hop in a shower, do our thing, head out the door. Hey, guys, um, be back with you Sunday or Monday, hopefully for another shave. Until then, the inspector's out. Have a great weekend.